Patrick. Look at the state of Patrick, man. He looks like a <laughs> he looks like a doctor from a nineteen eighties Miami Vice episode. I was gonna say he's got the kind of the like a Bruce Springsteen <laughs> kind of look with the bandana. Oh, that's a man in a midlife crisis, if ever I've seen him. <laughs> and I can talk if anyone saw my hair at uh, Strasbourg back in 2016. Although Patrick's had uh, a few questionable hairstyle choices over the years. He, he used to be a very bleached, blonde, short, spiky hair mm. a few years back. I think we can pretty much um, safely predict this will probably end up 2-2. Although saying that, wow. So Patrick's off to a nice start with the early hit and then the star right. <coughs> Two very, there. very nice reds. That should be the kill. Yeah. That was very nice. Got a nice combination of uh, nice item usage with nice item RNG. It's uh, it was very difficult to play against when you get somebody who knows what they're doing, who's also getting good items. Chris getting a steal off on the red. Gets a turnaround shot. Oh, didn't line up his green though. And then kind of just spunked it off sideways. Oof, nearly runs into a random green. Gets a red. No, they're, not exactly a... Shy. they're not exactly shy about um, confronting each other anyway. Although two dodgy shots there. Yeah, I think Patrick's red shot triggered Chris's red shot. You do see that with kind of like mid mid table players quite often where one, when one shoots the other will automatically shoot straight away after. Yeah, it's kind of just the the reflex action. You got Patrick patrolling in the middle with a red, Chris looking for an angle to get a red off. Now they're just gonna drive around on the opposite sides of a track. He's one of them to go. I'm not entirely sure what Chris decided to do then. Uh, commit suicide. Turns around nicely. Often the uh, best defense against a red is just to get in so close that the red can't target you. What you don't really want to be doing as Chris now is making a run across the middle. Now maybe he could. But there's still items around the outside for him to go fishing for. Ooh, to get out of that green. Chris has a habit of driving where greens are. Oh, around. what a banana! What a banana! Chris is happy with that one. That was, oh, that was a celebration. He deserves to be happy for that one. So I've played um, over 2,000 rounds of battle mode online with Chris in the last year, and he hasn't managed to hit a single long-range banana yet. And so I think that's his his first one. I watched it. I watched him fire, and I was going, "Oh, that's gonna be that's gonna be close." And I look down, smack, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It needs to keep concentration, find an item, because Patrick is patrolling with a red. Although he's patrolling an area with greens bouncing around. I think uh, Chris turns into a very nice, kept, kept yeah. the right distance there. Still doesn't have an item. There's, there's items there. There's two to choose from. Chris gets a red, Patrick gets a star. Let's see if Patrick's just going to hold the star. No, he uses it. He was trying. He looked like he was just trying to bait Chris out into the into the center. I think he was just trying to get the red shot off. There's a kill. Very nice. One one. So after a very quick first first round, we had a, a pretty drawn out round two. Onto Arena 3, this is one where Chris very rarely seems to go to the outside, but having said that, he just instantly goes to the outside. And he's going to get chased by a man with a red, he's going to look to turn around. Mistimed that quite badly. And then we've got some greens shooting around. Patrick with the red. Chris gone to the outside with a feather, but uh, swaps it out for a red. And now he's... Chris, had, a, Chris had an open shot there. 
from outside um, in. No, Patrick was already around the corner on that one though. They didn't get the angle right on that shot and then got punished. Gets a red versus a banana. See if Patrick can go for a long range banana. Nope. Just drops it, picks up a red, turns around. Can he get the shot off? Nope. Looking to go the other way. Looking for some ice defense. Broke oh. too many of the cubes. This is going to be a big round for Patrick here. Yep. Chris was the early item. He's chasing after Patrick. Decides to stop chasing. A little surprised with that since he does have a slight speed advantage. Now it becomes positional. I do love red on red interactions. Very nice by Chris there. Yeah, it was a lovely shot. Get the green shot off, don't shelfie. No, it doesn't even take the shot. Oh! That was nearly nice. very really nice turnaround. Hard. Red v green. Patrick uh, sucks his red out for a feather. Sorry, green out for a feather. And now red star. Let's see. Chris is just hanging around in the middle. He likes to do that when opponents have stars. It's risky because if they pick up the red straight away, you can be kind of stranded. Or if you accidentally run into a green shell, it could be quite unfortunate. Chris went for another <laughs> long range banana there. I nearly, nearly drove into a green one. On, green. The, on the way for it, yeah. Don't shelfie, he shelfied. I mean, Chris had the right idea with that shot, but he shouldn't have driven. <laughs> was the problem. Yeah. Chris has a positional advantage. He's ah, Patrick, better. Sorry. Patrick with a positional advantage. Chris with the feather. Patrick uh, catching the wall. But he's enough inside that he should get a good chase angle. Yeah. Chris crushing into the wall, kind of sitting duck. And that should finish it. That'll be it. Nice win for Patrick. It's his second win. He's got a mirror results, two wins, six draws, two defeats. Brings him up now to 10 points. Let me just wait now to see what the other matches bring. 